Republican, sent, uh, Republican candidate for the 19th Senate District. I want to thank the League of Women Voters, the AAUW, and the library for having this event. I think public forums like this are absolutely invaluable. I don't think any public decision should be made ever, or a vote should be cast until the public knows who they're dealing with and what the issues are. And I'll tell you what, I spent half my legal career in the public sector, and that has been my motto the entire time. Let me tell you a little bit about myself personally. I, I've lived in Columbia for over 25 years. I'm a graduate of the University of Missouri. I met my wife at the University of Missouri. Actually, while I was a bartender at the Blue Note. I don't tell a lot of people that, but I met her at the bar. I didn't meet her in class. When we got married here in Columbia 18 years ago, we have three kids. I have a boy who's 10 and a boy who's 7, and they both go to Ridgeway, which is the magnet school in the Columbia Public School System here. And I have a three-year-old who's in preschool, so she's not in school yet, but she will be at Ridgeway uh, when she starts kindergarten. I started out my legal career as an assistant attorney general and a special prosecutor for the state of Missouri. I started out at that job for $24,000 a year, and I like to joke that my wife and I had more in student loans every year than that, because I think we came pretty close to it. Fortunately, we didn't have any kids at the time, otherwise we could never have done it. But I will tell you that in that time, I prosecuted over 90 criminal cases, in some of the hor most horrible cases this state has seen. Capital murder cases, violent sexual offenders, repeat and persistent sexual offenders, public corruption, all types of criminal cases. I also prosecuted a lot of environmental cases when I was there. I'm an undergraduate from the University of Missouri, but I have a master's degree in environmental law and a law degree, both from, from Vermont Law School, which is the top environmental law program in the country. And as much as I wanted to go to Mizzou Law School, I really wanted to be an environmental lawyer, and that's why I went to Vermont. But I came back right afterwards, and I started out the Attorney General's office after that. And I worked in both the criminal division, prosecuting those criminal cases, and I worked in the environmental division. And I've done both criminal and civil environmental cases. I'm the former Deputy Director and General Counsel for the Department of Natural Resources. And I'm currently a partner with the law firm Lathrop & Gage, which is a, it's the oldest law firm in the United States west of the Mississippi. It's based out of Kansas City, but we have offices all over the country. But the reason I'm running for this race is because I'm part of this community. I have three kids. I have two kids in the public school system, one soon to be. I've been involved in some of Missouri's most contentious issues, whether they be capital murder cases, whether they be $4.2 billion in sewer infrastructure improvements with the city of St. Louis between the state, the federal government, and the city to improve water quality. Those are contentious issues. But those issues have given me the skills, those cases have given me the skills to know how to negotiate, to know how to get the best for my clients every time, no matter who my clients are. It's a skill that I want to bring to this community because I simply cannot watch any longer what we are losing through our representation in the State Senate. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Schaefer. Chuck Graham is the Democrat candidate for the 19th Senate seat. Mr. Graham, you may present your opening remarks. Uh, thank you, and uh, thank you uh, not only to the League and the other sponsors for being here, uh, but thank you to the public uh, for being willing to come out here and uh, listen directly to the candidates and instead of just sitting on your couch watching 30-second ads. Uh, I think it's great that you're a part of uh, participatory democracy, and glad that you're here this evening. Uh, four years ago, uh, I came before you when I ran for the State Senate, uh, uh, promising to uh, protect, defend, and enhance the University of Missouri. And I particularly put those in that order. Protect, defend, and enhance the University of Missouri. And while there are some things that we've been able to do to enhance the University of Missouri, like being able to get some money uh, to help design the new nursing school, as Chris Kelly said, there are also some people with some tracks across their chests, and I probably have more tracks than anybody in the Senate. That's because the University of Missouri has been under attack, whether it has been directly by the governor or by Missouri Right to Life and their efforts to make sure that we restrict the research that we conduct on this campus. They have been on the attack against us. One other thing happened four years ago when I was elected, and that's Republicans took control of the House, the Senate, and the governor's uh, mansion for the first time in 82 years. And I think you've got to ask the question, what has this gotten us? 400,000 fewer people on health care in this state, including 50,000 children in this state. Um, we're mired down nationally in two wars that we can't afford, a banking system that's collapsing in the state. We have the highest unemployment rate since uh, anything I can remember, even maybe Chris Kelly's term. Um, <laughs> We have a foundation formula that now shifts $20 million uh, from Columbia schools, 800000 from Ashland, down to the governor's part of the state. Many times it's fallen on the state Senate, and particularly state Democrats, to stand up and say this is wrong, whether it's protecting a woman's right to choose, stopping voucher bills from passing, or standing strong for academic freedom. I've been willing to do that, even when I've been alone. Adding one more Republican 
to that mix, to that team, is not going to help the people of this state. I'm hopeful that I can be a part of beginning to turn this around and getting back to not only protecting and defending this university, but enhancing it as well. Thank you, Mr. Graham. Christopher Dwyer is the Libertarian candidate.